Yo, what's up guys, Ormsky here, how are you doing and welcome back to Less City Career Mode. We are now on episode 12 and we need to play the replay game on January the 12th against Bradford. Following this game, I really don't want to play this game, but following this game we do play against Villa. We then have the cup game against Manchester United, followed by Stoke. Alright guys, so the team that we're going to play against Bradford is going to be Gabriel Jesus, Vardy, Gray, Drinkwater, Amati and Sanchez, Chilwell, Beneluane, his name is so hard to say fast, Moore, Simpson and Ben Hamer. We're going to take uh, Shemichael quickly out and there you go, that's going to be the starting lineup. Let's get into the game. Okay guys, it's time for the FA Cup replay. Not looking forward to playing this one, but unfortunately we have to play it, so let's just get underway with it. By the way, just to let you quickly know guys, I'm just going to show you the goals from this game because it can go up to penalties. So I'm just going to show you the goals from this one and then we can play the Aston Villa game and the Manchester United first leg in this episode. Not this one up long. Jamie Vardy, can you win it? You managed to get to it. Renato Sanchez finds Damari Gray. Damari Gray plays it out wide, maybe a bit too much. Gabriel Jesus skips past and it's a P-roller into the bottom corner. Great finish there from Gabriel Jesus. Ronaldo Sanchez is back trying to cover. Doesn't win it, but the ball does get intercepted. Gets played out wide. Where is Danny Simpson right now? Oh, there he is making the interception. Ben Hamer, what are you doing? What on earth just happened? What on earth just happened? Poor touch. The ball gets... What is that? By the way, that slide tackle there, I tried to move him towards the ball and slide and he just didn't do it. So I tried to go for the block on the shot, but what on earth just happened? How is that a thing? 1-1. One, one. Good one too there. Between Ben Chilwell and Drinkwater. Looks for Renato. Damari Gray. Damari Gray finds Vardy. Vardy plays it up to Renato Sanchez. Looks back for Vardy and Vardy just can't turn and get out of his feet in time. Omati fails to intercept the ball. But Liam Moore is there back to cover. Chilwell. First time pass towards Renato Sanchez. Looks out wide for Gabriel Jesus who finds Drinkwater. Drinkwater tries to play it through for Jamie Vardy. Can he find Jamie Vardy? He can. Keep it in no man's land. And there we go. 2-1. Let's try and not mess this lead up this time. Second half has been really tight. Lingard looks for Ajoa. Ajoa looks to play through Gabriel and finds Gabriel. Gabriel is through but he shattered. Gabriel looks for the sweat. Lingard is there. There we go. 3-1. GG. Game over. Not going to extra time. Not going to a... And that is full time, guys. It's a 3-1 win in the end. It's a very, very good result for ourselves. Especially because we were playing like a rotated weekend team. As you can see, they had 9 shots, 7 on target. And it was actually a pretty good game from them. Towards the end, the last, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes, they definitely applied a lot of pressure. Which is what allowed us to get the third goal. But Ben Hamer did have to pull out some really good saves. So it's a good result. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at some of these transfers. So, for you, Michael... They have put in a 6 million bid, and do you know what? I'm really tempted to accept that, so I'm just going to stall it for a second. As for Stoke, they've put in a 6 million bid, and I'm I'm not really too interested in accepting this one. Um, let's see if they just bump it up to 6-3, and if that's the case, then I'll accept that. As for Hellas Verona, they put in 3.8, and that's a simple reject. West Brom have come back and said that Riyad Mahrez, he's not worth it, so they've said no. Castro Michael offer, Hellas Verona offer, and Jesse has gone ahead and declined the contract. I don't want to offer him any more money. I don't not offer him anything else so i'm happy with that however we are going to go ahead finally and accept the talishka transfer he's going to come to the club that leaves us nothing and 2.7 mil in the bank so let's hope we can get ourselves a half decent replacement uh, uh, let's hope we can get ourselves some money at least okay guys so reese oxford has gone ahead and accepted his contract so we are going to go ahead and accept the offer for him and also we have managed to bag ourselves one more defender it is going to be boss gagli and let's go ahead and accept that one too Okay guys, so Dortmund have said no to Riyad Mahrez, Saint Etienne have said no to Rufia's offer, Crystal Palace have accepted 6.3 million. Alright guys, so Real Madrid have accepted a 1.8 million pound bid for Odegaard, we don't have the transfer fees currently available but Schmeichel could be on the way out, however I have gone ahead and thrown him in a 6k a week contract. And also guys, Stoke have accepted an offer of 6.3 million as well, so Schumacher's got a couple of clubs to choose between. We have also received one more offer for Riyad Mahrez, or actually it says we've got four um, transfer offers here, so let's see what's going on. It's probably going to be Schumacher. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to I'm gonna throw in 20 million for Riyad Mahrez, just because we just signed Talishka. It, I don't want to lose Mahrez though. 
We're not going to sell Mares, guys. I, I know we need the money for another goalkeeper, but I don't want to lose Mares. All right, guys, it's time for the Aston Villa game. Let's go ahead and look at the team sheet. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and play against Aston Villa. We're going to stick with the same formation. However, it's going to be Gabriel Ambolo and Mares, Talishka, the new signing, making his debut, Kante, Inla, Fuchs, Valanta, Huth, Iorfa, and Schmeichel in goal. It could be his last game for us. Let's kick off the Aston Villa game. Ambolo making his debut as well, actually. Talishka to Inla. In the looks for Riyad Mahrez, and it's a good save. Rebounds. Kante just can't get there. It goes out for a goal kick. Can I just say, guys, look at the potential we now have with our three forwards in Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Barbosa, and Mbolo. Like, that is potential in abundance. Looks for the overlapping Gabriel. Gabriel here. Can we get the whip in on a stronger left foot? Mbolo is there, and what an opportunity. Went for the spectacular there with the... I don't know what that was. It was a more of a volley, like a, a scissor kick, and should have should have really hit the target, especially from that distance. Now, we are dreaming a little with this one. It's 43 yards out, but do you know what? I'm still going to bang it. So, Christian Fuchs, let's never do that again. Over to Inla. Gets towards Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez shoots, and it's a good save there from Brad Guzan to knock it out for a corner. Talishka is stepping up for this one. Let's whip it in. It's not the greatest of corners. Inler is there. Kante, can you win that one? Uh, you kind of just cleared it for them, Kante. What are you doing? Yeah, you can. Thank you very much. That's going to be half time. And also, it is still nil-nil. We have had some good opportunities in this half so far. We should have really taken a couple of them. They've not had a single shot. And possession has actually been pretty even considering the formation that we're playing. However, with the five shots, three in target, and that definitely needs to improve in the second half. All right, guys. So I don't want to change things too much, but Inler is going to come off for Sanchez. 70th minute, we're going to make another substitute, and this time Mbolo is actually going to come off, and Gabriel Jesus is going to come on. We are going to go a bit more attacking here. The throw comes in. Renato Sanchez. Gabriel! Gabriel, can you turn? You can! And is it a foul in our favour? Tell me that's a foul in our favour. It is a very good position here for a free kick. 79 accuracy. Fuchs does have the better free kicks. We haven't had many good free kicks with him, though. However, let's just try this one. Dinky, dinky. Doesn't work. Ref, that's a pen. Ref, that's a pen. Ref, that's a pen. No, no. Don't do this to me. That was a clear pen. Oh, however, Renato Sanchez, can you get this? You can. Renato Sanchez. He shoots. Oh, he hits the post. What a good strike. No way. Gets over towards the offer. We might. I don't think we have time for one opportunity. We don't. We do end up drawing nil-nil against Aston Villa. We had such good opportunities there to try and win it. Namely, Sanchez hitting the post, very unlucky. He could have easily flown into the top corner. Just, it was one of them games. It was nil-nil, but overall, I can't complain at this team. Casper Michael does get a clean sheet as he's about to leave us, unfortunately. I kind of wish he doesn't now, because I like Casper, And I, I regret this decision. Alright guys, so they've reviewed the offer for Sergio Rico and they've just said no. Okay guys, so Casper Schumichael has been sold and that does leave us with enough funds to sign Odegaard. We're going to go ahead and sign Odegaard. Luckily, we are playing against Manchester United at the moment, um, so it's just a bit of a tricky one. Alright guys, I didn't want to show you this because I just had to move over my budgets and stuff. However, Sergio Rico, I'm going to go in for him heavily now. I, we need to sign a goalkeeper, 5.7 million plus a Joa, and let's hope they uh, accept. Alright guys, instead of a Joa, who's only worth 2 million, we're going to throw in Mark Brighton, who's worth 2.3. We're also going to throw an extra million on top for 5.5 mil, and we've really just got to hope this this offer gets accepted. Quickly, actually we're going to amend this, and we're going to throw a Joa back in, just because a Joa is actually on 15k more wages then or Brighton so hopefully they accept this one just I'm looking at that 40k mark that he's on he might want 50 so that's 384k I don't know how much more it will give me towards uh, my wages but let's hope that I'll be able to sign him all right guys so I'm going to end the episode here we're not playing against Manchester United in this episode because will this Sergio Rico happen or will it not happen I think it's a good clip to end this on so I do hope you have enjoyed the episode if you have then please do smash it with a huge thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't already for more content. I've been Ormski, thank you once more for watching and peace.